Hey everyone, this is Stephanie, registered dietitian at Foundations Medical Center. It is almost summer, which means that people are firing up their grills a lot more, including myself. But did you know that cooking meat at very high temperatures can increase the production of DNA damaging compounds that can increase our risk for cancer? Thankfully, there are steps that you can take to decrease the production of these compounds, and I'm gonna be sharing some tips with you today for healthier grilling. Tip number one, choose leaner cuts of meat and then remove the skin from poultry. Number two, cut your meat into smaller pieces or choose quicker cooking proteins such as fish or shrimp. That way your protein is not exposed to meat for too long. Number three, try to consider marinating your meat in some sort of acid, whether that's vinegar or lemon or lime. Number four, if you like to use a barbecue sauce, consider adding this after you cook. That's because the sugar in these sweetened barbecue sauces or teriyaki sauces can react with the amino acids and proteins under heat and really ramp up the production of those DNA damaging compounds. Next, rotate your meat frequently and remove all of the blackened parts from your meat after you're done cooking. Finally, consider using herbs, spices, fruits, and vegetables when you grow. These plant foods have a lot of antioxidants that can not only decrease some of that DNA damage going on, but can also decrease the formation of the compounds in the first place. Colorful kebabs are a really great solution. Happy grilling, everyone.